Are you being provoked by a narcissist at work? Are they spreading lies about you and turning people against you? Do you feel isolated at work and is it affecting your mental and emotional well-being? If so, keep listening. These individuals can be relentless in their efforts to break you, but there are ways to protect yourself and win against their efforts. Before I go on, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, let me know in the comments what video you guys would like to see based on the issues that you are having. As a therapist, I have dealt with many that have dealt with toxic individuals and can gladly share my insight with you. So what are some effective ways to deal with the smear campaign at work? The first way to effectively deal with the smear campaign is not to talk about the other person or attempt to smear their name at all. The worst thing to do when you are being smeared by a narcissist is to respond. I talk about this a lot as this perpetuates the drama and creates an even more toxic environment with you now in it. To a narcissist, a positive response means that you are being deceived and a negative response means that they are winning. But indifference, indifference to a narcissist means that you keep your power and you are currently annihilating them. The best way to go no contact is to go without a word. And that means no gossiping. So in order to respond appropriately, you have to understand the motive behind a smear campaign. A narcissist starts a smear campaign as a way to get revenge from a narcissistic injury you may have caused, many times unbeknownst to you. This could be something as simple as you saying no to something they asked you, showing confidence, indifference, or just laughing with someone. I know it sounds pretty pathetic, but they are always seething with jealousy underneath. Therefore, when they initiate this smear campaign, it is to cause you to react and break down. They want to inflict pain. The sadistic side of them enjoys this as it creates an immense feeling of thrill and enjoyment for them. Also, they are trying to get you to defend yourself to them and other people and to also isolate you, which would cause you to come crawling back to them so that they can again reject you, but worse this time. It may be difficult for now for many of you to believe that this is their motive, but this is exactly what they do. And for more proof of that, check out MPD in the DSM. In order to thwart the intended plans of the smear campaign, when someone at work comes to tell you what the narcissist is saying about you, you can say something like, oh, okay, I have so much work to do. I can't talk right now. You can also say, I try not to entertain workplace gossip. But whatever you do, do not entertain the conversation. Don't defend yourself or talk bad about them. Narcissists and sociopaths also love when others talk negatively about them because you are giving them your attention and this feeds their ego. It shows that they are still in control of your emotions, but when you don't respond or you act indifferent, this sends them a clear signal that they have lost emotional control of you and it infuriates them. Trust me, guys. Number two. Continue to be your empathetic, kind self, but have boundaries. This means that you are not going around kissing up to anyone to prove yourself, but you are still walking around with a pleasant demeanor. You are as wise as a serpent, yet gentle as a dove. You know exactly what's going on. What a narcissist hates most about you is your empathy. How does your happiness come from within? Why don't you have to cause drama to feel good about yourself? They cannot understand empathy completely because they are lacking this amazing trait. The Bible talks about people whose conscience have been seared with an iron. Doesn't this sound like a personality disordered individual? So smile, be kind, laugh when appropriate, be pleasant. When you ignore them and they see that you are still being yourself, not only will it cause them to react, eventually causing them to be exposed to others, but others will see how pleasant you really are as well. Not that it matters, because after all, you're just being yourself. Number three, play dumb. 
When dealing with a personality disordered individual, you have to develop foresight. In the past, we were abused and only realized it in hindsight. Foresight allows us to be prudent, foreseeing the danger ahead and moving and planning in silence. This is a must when dealing with a narcissist, sociopath, psychopath, or a toxic individual in general. Playing dumb is an effective method at work. When someone comes to you with gossip from a narcissist about you, or you notice people avoiding you, acting different, giving you the side eye, you don't respond because you don't know what's going on, even though you do. You couldn't care less. You are there to work and the people at your job are not your friends. You have boundaries, remember. You are there to do a job and go home. And when you play dumb, they won't bring anything your way anymore because you aren't feeding into the drama. I heard a saying that says, never get into the ring with the pig because you'll get dirty plus the pigs will enjoy it. So get out the ring by not feeding into the drama. Number four, wear headphones if possible. Listen to positive music or an inspirational educational podcast or video at work if you can. Wearing headphones at work is great because it easily sends a clear message not to bother you. People will be more hesitant to come your way if they see that you are busy listening to something. Plus, headphones allow you to control your atmosphere at work by surrounding yourself with positive messages, and this will keep you in a good mood. Number five, let time pass. When you are not responding and you are being your kind self, over time, people will notice the discrepancy between what they're saying and what you're doing. It simply won't match up. Time will always reveal a narcissist because of their negative pattern of behavior. They cannot help this, guys. So people will notice after a while. Doing this causes them to show their hand because now they're infuriated that you're not mad, angry, frustrated, depressed, or trying to get them back. And how dare you act as if they're invisible. This is the ultimate wound and power play on your end. They will go into overdrive to cause you to react before they give up. Then they will choose another victim and people will see what's going on and avoid them. Of course, there will still be some naive flying monkeys that will always be loyal to them. But trust me, a lot of people will peep game. Remember that work is for work. We're not there to build a support system or to mingle. Of course, there are people we may meet there that end up being good friends, but that is not our goal. And we are still vetting people we meet. The only time we may have to say something to a narcissistic coworker is if they continue to harass us or they keep contacting us after work, maybe from like a different number because we're ignoring them and they're triggered by that. And trust me, this happens. And in that case, we may need to tell them to stop. And if they don't, we have to keep records and obviously consider speaking to HR. And on a side note, I just want to mention, make sure you're taking care of yourselves outside of work, it's so important to get in touch with what we need because emotional abuse even at work is taxing on our mental and emotional state. So maybe you find out what you need. Do you need a massage? Do you need to get together with some friends? Do you need to, you know, relax at night, sip some tea, watch some TV, read a good book, whatever floats your boat, whatever is relaxing to you, whatever you do to take care of your mental health outside of work, make sure you're doing that and plenty of it. Make sure you're eating right. I know sometimes we have cheat days, but make sure overall you're eating right. Make sure you're getting plenty of water. Make, it, make sure you're getting the vitamins that you need to replenish your body. So that's all I have for today. Remember to like and subscribe. Also share the video because you'll be surprised at how many people need help with these toxic people. As always, you are absolutely loved and accepted. You matter, guys. Until next time.